Okay, so uh, just talk to us about your last fight. Uh, walk the fans through it. Uh, I was hoping none of you guys saw it, but uh, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, it was my first loss in like eight years, I think. And, yeah, I mean everything was fine. I got caught in the uh, kick in the liver in the first round, and uh, and uh, just changed the whole fight for me. I, mean, I don't really even remember much, uh, uh, so I had to watch the fight afterwards because I was just I was on autopilot, man. I don't uh, I was hurt bad. And um, I just try to find a way to win, I guess, uh, you know. But, uh, yeah, you know, uh, I studied uh, Jabouin. I, I knew he was fast, but uh, and you just never know how fast somebody is until you get in front of him. You know, you can watch video and go, oh, yeah, he's fast. But once you get in front of him, man, uh, he, he was really quick. And, uh, you know, he was playing a good distance game and then coming in really hard and fast. And, uh, yeah, he just caught me, man. And, uh, you know, at this level, that's all it takes to get to beat up it's one mistake. So, you know, my hat's off to him. He did his job that night, and uh, you know he's a good dude. And um, you know, I wish I could have beat him, but you know, uh, if we, you know, hopefully someday uh, I'll get to fight him again or something. This is a pretty quick turnaround for you. September first in Vegas. Just talk about it. Um, yeah, um, you know, I didn't want to uh, sit on the sidelines too well. I mean, I. I had to take a little time off from the last fight, you know, um, I was beat up, but more, not really like uh, anything long term, you know, just uh, little bruises and stuff like that, but I don't like to sit around, you know, that long. If I can fight again, I like to stay busy, and, uh, you know, I definitely want to get back in the win column. I don't want to, uh, you know, sit around on this loss, and, you know, I mean, that's all I think about right now, and, you know, I, I use it to motivate me in training and stuff, so... Yeah, September 1st, so I'll fight uh, Mizugaki, who, uh, you know, he's been around for a while in the company and stuff, and uh, he's super tough, fought a lot of champions and that, but, uh, you know, I think it should be a good fight and a fight I can win. Okay, and just talk about that a little bit. What do you think you need to do to pull off this victory? What are your keys to victory? Um, I definitely think, uh, you know, that my ground game, my jiu-jitsu is better than him, uh, for sure. But, you know, he is good at, like, uh, stifling guys on the ground. You know, he's been in there with uh, Curran and, and Ronnie Yaya and some really good jiu-jitsu guys. And, uh, you know, he's beat them and kind of neutralized their guards. So, um, you know, I have to come up with something, uh, you know, that he, that he's not used to seeing and, and just be relentless with my attacks and stuff. Um, as far as the stand-up goes, you know, uh, he hits hard and stuff, so I need to stick and move and just not be in front of him. The date of this interview is June 27th, so we're probably nine weeks out, something along those lines. Um, when will you start your camp? Um, I'll probably start um, beginning of July. This will be the longest notice I've ever had, so this will be pretty cool. Right, so uh, just talk about some of the guys you're going to be working with. Um, yeah, well, I'm going to go down to California, and uh, I'm going to train uh, at a... Dynamic Martial Arts and Fitness, uh, Hoff Gracie School, a bunch of guys there that, that uh, I train with. And uh, I think I'm going to stop by at the Diaz Brothers and uh, try to get some training up, down over there. And then uh, here in Washington, uh, I think I'm, uh, I talked to the guys uh, in Spokane, uh, Kiesa and Cecilia that were just on Ultimate Fighter. And uh, I think I'm going to go down there and try to get a weekend or two with those guys. Uh, they're a little bigger than me, but they're super tough, and their whole camp's uh, really good, so that'd be good for me. I wanted to ask you about a fight that just took place, uh, I guess it was a week ago now. Um, Clay Guida, Gray Maynard. What did you think of Guida's game plan? Um, man, you know, I, I, I saw, like, a lot of the hatred on the internet and everything for that guy, you know, like, after his fight, and... I mean, I understand it. it's not always, uh, you know, you can't always go in there and, you know, certain guys have certain strengths, you know, and you can't always just go in there and and have a great, you know, stand in front and throw down with them. You know, that, that probably wouldn't have been the greatest idea for him to do with Maynard because that guy, he bangs hard and, you know, it's great wrestling. So the longer you're in front of that guy, the more in danger you are. So I understand what, you know, what, what he was doing as far as sticking and moving and stuff, but I think that... uh you know, maybe he went a little, a little too much moving and should have done more, you know, sticking. But I don't knock the guy. I mean, hell, he's got a great, you know, career in UFC. And, uh, 
So if I could be as successful as Craig Weida, I'd be super happy. Do you think um, a lot of the hatred um, was just because they were expecting so much from uh, Guida? Like, he's the uh, Tory Gotti of uh, MMA, right? He always brings it. He goes to war. His fights are always exciting. And uh, this time, you know, he fought a uh, technical fight. Sure, yeah, I think uh, definitely, you know, that uh, yeah, the fans, they see, you know, you look at his past work, and you're like, oh, yeah, this guy's going to go in there and he's going to do but the other thing is, you know, he just came off that loss to uh, Henderson, the, uh, the champ, you know, and he's trying to stay relevant in the in the lightweight title shot, you know. Yeah. If he was to go out there and just throw down with Maynard and get knocked out, that's just going to knock him down a bunch of pegs anyways, you know. So he went out there, I think, with the idea of winning this fight, you know. Uh, and he knew it wasn't going to be his most exciting fight probably. But he was trying to do what he had to do to win, and, uh, you know, I can understand that. And, unfortunately, you know, it didn't work out for him. Uh, you know, I mean, both those guys are, you know, top of the lightweight division, you know. I'm sure if they fought, uh, either guy could win that fight, you know, on any given day. So, you know, I, I actually, you know, I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, there was parts of it where you're like, come on, you know. But, I mean, they threw down, you know. what? People got to... Understand it's a fight, you know. You're not going to stand in there and wait to get hit by a car, you know. You're trying to move right away right and get hit, you know, and not get hit and, and do damage. So, you know, I think people, because, uh, you know, what, what we do and, you know, they when they pay money and stuff like that, they come to expect, you know, that we're just going to go out there and, uh, you know, and do that. But, man, there's a lot on the line, you know, and trying to win. I want to ask you this question. What do you think about instant replay in mixed martial arts? You think it would work, or do you think it would slow down the fights too much? I don't know. Um, you know, I've heard people talk about it earlier. I've never really thought about it too much. Uh, I, I think that they should maybe try it on, you know, a uh, trial basis or maybe on smaller shows and see how it works. I, I don't know really how you would, uh, you know, just jump right into that. But uh, I think, uh, you know, I think it could be good. You know, I think you could see maybe some things that were called fouls that maybe weren't, you know, or, you know, I don't know. Uh, I think maybe it would help the judges uh, who are, you know, see things that, you know, maybe they didn't, you know, did I see that or not? You know, sometimes things happen very fast, you know, and maybe it would change the scoring. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm up for whatever, you know, whatever they want to do. Uh, you know, so far I, I haven't had any crazy decision uh, where I was like, oh, man, I, I should have won that, you know. I've lost every decision uh, that I went to that, uh, you know, I should have, and I've won the ones I should have. So, for me, it hasn't been a factor yet. Talk about how the sport has changed since you made your debut. <laughs> uh, well, uh, <laughs> my first fight was at an Indian casino uh, out in the middle of nowhere in California. And it was a, it was a great card. Um, you know, it was a little, um, man, Chris Lytle. There was a ton of good, tough guys. But, I mean, we literally fought in a parking lot, surrounded by, like, uh, you know, temporary fence, and, uh, yeah, we just all threw down, and, you know, I think I made, uh, I won that fight, so I made, like, $200 to show and, and $200 to win. Which, wow. You know, I, I was stoked, because, you know, I, I fought so much for free, but, uh, yeah, um, you know, and now it's, it's, yeah, we're on TV, and, you know, fighting these big venues, and, you know also different, you know, having to go through athletic commission. I never had to get a, you know, a blood test or a MRI. They don't care. They didn't care back then. Show up, sign a piece of paper, you know, and fight. And, uh, you know, that part of that is easier, but, you know, I'm kind of for fighter safety and stuff. I, uh, you know, I think it's good to, uh, to protect these guys because fighters are notorious for being just dumb when it comes to certain stuff, man. Like, I mean, I know when I was young, I would have fought you know, a polar bear, if they would have told me, hey, you know, we got you this fight next week, and I would have done it, right. you know? And uh, I'm probably, probably not the healthiest thing, though. Yeah, probably not, man. Okay, so uh, big fight coming up in a week and a half. Chael Sonnen, Anderson Silva, too. Who's your pick? Chael Sonnen. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go American there. Uh, I just, uh, you know, I, I like him. I, uh... I think he's funny, and uh, I like. I actually like the way he fights. You know, I'm usually not a big fan of like uh, guys that are wrestle wrestling heavy with their game plans, but 
that guy don't uh, lay and pray, that's for sure. You know, he goes out there and, and he swings and, and he does his thing. And, uh, yeah, you know, I just think uh, I think he can uh, do it this time as long as he doesn't get, you know, wrist controlled and triangles again. But, uh, you know, I got to believe that, you know, he's going to, going to take those precautions and, and not let that happen again. You want to throw out your uh, Twitter or Facebook? Oh, my! Uh, you can follow me at Twitter, uh, at Jeff Hoagman. So, yeah, and then Facebook, I'm on there too. I don't know what it is, but my wife helps me out. Thanks for taking the time out for us, and uh, best of luck in your fight, September 1st. Thank you. I appreciate it. Take care. Oh, okay, yeah, see ya.